curiously, our true heroes tend to be anonymous, right? In this life of illusion, the person of solid virtues, intelligence, who can be something more than his well-knownness, after he proves to be unsung hero. Bengal produced a number of high rank scientists, but unfortunately ignored their history. One such unsung hero is Rai Bahadur Sir Upendra Nath Brahmachari, who was a leading physician and scientist of his time, which is which he is known as the man of steel who became a hero. <laughs> Please give a round of applause for sir. Namaskar. The final opportunity to give is my beloved student and the faculty members over here. As rightly introduced today by my beloved junior right now, during the process of the thousand years of our ancestry, of our civilization, and of course of our history of the medical science, we have omitted few important facts from our past. And here today, I would like to introduce, not introduce, but to reintroduce, Gai Bahadur, Dr. Upendra Brahmachari, who has made the history. 1922, in the city of Toronto, there was a history. And we all know it. It was the separation of the insulin. It was Frederick Benting and his beloved student, Dr. Bates. Both of them have separated insulin and it was made a history. Thousands, lakhs, and millions of the life they saved care of them. At the same year, thousands of the miles away of our very old Calcutta, Gagan Kolkata, the British Empire, or the British India, colonized India, our doctor. A scientist, a chemist, who was sorry, who was not very known at that time, has discovered a treatment for a very fatal disease, Dade. It was the Kalajar and the story of University of Iowa. For the next few minutes, for the few slides, I will like to highlight on this journey of Rai Bahadur. Dr. Upendranath Mamachar. Here is the man who is the unsung hero or can say the Mahatta of our, of our medical science. At that time, when he practiced medicine, when he separated or discovered in the of mind, mind, it was the time when the India was fighting and the struggle for the independence. There are many prominent figures of the independent struggles and notably the most important was the Mahatma. And we can say that this, is, this person is saying that the Mahatma of our very fighting of our own disease. He is not a doctor, he is a chemist, he is a doctor, he is a philosopher and above all he is an inventor. And after inventing of a disease, after separating the drug and also he is a manufacturer. He has manufacturing this drug and does not take the patent of this drug that saves the millions of the lives they are after. And these are this is a rough of him, which I would like to mention only the highlights. That he born in 1973 at the Purvasthali from a uh, son of a renowned doctor of the Eastern Railway. And after that, of achieving BA at the Bachelor of Arts at that time, though it was the mathematics from the Huni Mahasin College, he has pursued his degree into the chemistry in the Presidency College. And the Presidency College, he found Dr. Alexander Pedler, who will later be known as the founder of the Indian Cultivation and the Excellency Center, and our beloved, our respected, the father of the chemistry, Dr. Prabhupada Chandra. Achanta Prabhupada Chandra Rai was an alumni of Edinburgh, or Edinburgh University. And after his guidance, he gave the influence of the Sadesi movement, or the Sadesi, or the Sadesi medicine, or the Desi medicine, which is not before. And what happens there after? He pursued his degree into the medicine, and at the year of 1900, he completed his MD from the University of Calcutta. 
and then he joined the provincial medical service. At that time, it was very difficult to join as a provincial medical service. Only the British and also the ancestors from the Europeans, they are the entitled discriminators. Not a native Indian was very few, and Dr. Pindran Bhumachari was the first of his kind from this part of the India. Yeah, after, it was the 1902 at the MD University of the Kolkata stood in the list of the order of the day. 1902, this is a landmark year of the history of the medicine because at that time, Dr. Ronald Ross, Major General Ronald Ross, Dadan Indian Medical Service of British Empire, received Nobel Prize for his discovery or India. Anopheles mosquito as a bearer of the malaria. So 1902, 1902, he receives Nobel Prize, the first British or uh, first doctor to receive the Nobel Prize is Dr. Ronald Ross. And thereafter, it was the year of 1905, 1905, it was a year of miracles. It is a year of miracles in just fact that at that very year, the School of Tropical Medicine in the Liverpool, it was established. It was Dr. Koch who has received his uh, Nobel Prize due to his landmark discovery of the Koch postulates for the tuberculosis and Professor Arlich who has invented the magic bullet for the cures of the sleeping sickness. So we can say that it was the era of the tropical medicine. But what the difference? Difference we can remember all of them, but we have forgotten the person who was very much Indian, who belongs to this land, who never gone to a waste, who has never pursued any foreign degree, who has invented all these things of all alone, and this is Dr. Upendranath Brahmacharya. And in the 1921, he has synthesized UPST mind from the urea tartaric acid which was prevalent in the beforehand for the treatment of the color and with the separation of the urea stigamine in the room of a small room in the Campbell Medical School which is known as now Nilatan Sarkar Medical College. In the small room of the Campbell Medical School he has synthesized the urea stigamine after years of his strong habit and struggle with the, some help of the chemist from the Calcutta Science College. So all these things are his biodata, which I am not going to mention details. But what is the highlighted over here are the two things. In 1929, when the drug was already established, he was nominated for the Nobel Prize, but he was not even shortlisted. And again, after all this endeavor in before his the end of his life, 1942, he was again nominated for the again nominated for the Nobel Prize, but even then he was not so listed. So, history sometimes makes us keep us pain. It was the Mahatma Gandhi who never received Nobel into the peace. It was the Tolstoy who never received Nobel into the literature. And it was Upendranath Brahmachari who was denied Nobel even to be shortlisted for his final compound. And what happens when he was proposed for the fellowship of the Royal Society, FRS, non a single doctor or non a Indian doctors was there to propose him. Perhaps it was Dr. Meghnath Saha who has proposed him in the field of the chemistry. So it is a pain to us that a pronounced doctor he was denied. Perhaps due to his own personality, perhaps he has never gone to the West, perhaps he was very much fancy. And it is the time the omission of the past should be recovered and it should not be repeated in the future. So these are some important facts of the Kalajar. The left down it was Dr. Leisman and the right was Dr. Charles Tunnel. Together then one in the England and one in the Madras or now the Chennai Medical School. They have denominated the first identifications of the splenic puncture of a category dissection found some body which is not due to malaria, which is not due to trypanosoma, but something that was later came to known as the Lismania Donovan body. And this Lismania Donovan body was known as the hallmark of the Kalajor. And it was 19, up to 1940, before the development of the LDI test, it was the hallmark to diagnose this 
face. So what is the color jaw? The different name was there. The color jaw, this many are seen, black fever, sandy disease, and also the dum dum fever, escondia, alipi boli, all these are the different names of the different parts of the world and which is came to the big headings of the color jaw, which is prevalent into the rural part of the India, particularly <coughs> Bihar and the Assam. <coughs> So the story of Kalajor is never ending. Story always comes with a period, a prologue. Because everything, now look at the importance of the oxygen. Now look at the importance of the therapy of immunosuppression. This comes after the discovery or after the coming of the COVID. We are living in the era of the COVID. Perhaps the 100 years, the richest epidemic is the COVID. And that teaches us. So there are plenty of the paper, plenty of the discovery, plenty of the suffering due to the COVID. So what precludes the color jaw? No, this was not such a noble one. It was a history for the colonial India. British, under the flagship of the East India Company, were very much eager to safeguard its interest into the tropical countries, particularly the industry of the tea. Because it was the Australia and the Japan, they were the taking part to safeguard their army in the foreign land to from being killed from malaria or from the unknown disease which later came to known as the Kalajar or the Dangam people later on they have developed their school of tropical medicine and where it was happening the school of tropical medicine was not in the London the school of the tropical medicine was first established in the Liverpool and by whom it was by a person who was not a doctor who was not a politician or who was not a social servant he was a merchant because he wants to save his interest in the foreign land, particularly in the northern Africa. So it was always the interest of the crown, it was always the interest of the crown or the British Empire that develops the disease. Because the thousands and the millions of the people who had died in the eastern part of the India and then Jossor and the Assam and the Bihar and the tea industry was destroyed and after the Indo Burmese war there was a massive death from the Kalajar than the bullet of the Burmese army. So it was the interest of the British crown that Kalajar came into the force. And coming to this person I have already mentioned, Surgeon General Ronald Ross. We can say roughly he is the father of the tropical medicine. But remember, he has discovered or identified and identified mosquito as a bearer of the more malaria. He does not invent any things, he does not propose anything, he has just discovered the fact, and that's why he has been given Nobel. And the person who invented, who invented the cure of a deadly disease that at least say 50 million of the people was denied a very much recognition, even a Bharatratna from our part two. And so the colonial context, I am not going into the details, it was some concept or the misconception about the culture at that time. And understanding that the Kalajor it has three different forms. We all know that the cutaneous, visceral, and the new cutaneous. And we are concerned only about the visceral one. And these are the, some pictures which denotes the cutaneous dysmaniasis, the cutaneous dysmaniasis, or the classical visceral dysmaniasis of the Kalajor, which is still endemic in few parts of the Bihar and some parts of the West Bengal. And this is roughly the life cycle of the Kalajor, which I am not going to mention over here. But I will highlight the fact that healthy human was yet infection when an infectious hand fly vector bites them. What was Kalajor? Some said Edward Roger told that it was a form of the malaria. So they had tried to treat with the high dose of the quinine. Patient died with the effects of the quinine, but Kalajor does not cure. After the discovery of the sleeping sickness with the magic bullet of the early age, it was just by that a heavy metal can cure this disease. But which heavy metal? It was came to known as the tartaric amnia. But synthesizing of its less toxic form was a challenge to the Upenagar Bumbuchari. And he took this challenge with the help of a little grant. And he was denied a house in the Radhabaja Science College at that time. And remember who denied his? He was also a famous Indian scientist due to his misconception about the fact. Very bad because he thought that Dr. Bhumika is not a pure scientist. He is not a pure doctor. So he is not entitled to do his research into a classical, physical or chemical sciences. 
So he took the room into the Campbell Medical School, which is was a devoid of basic supply like a gas supply or an electric connection at that time. And the person who denied him was Dr. Sidney Roman. And it was the map, distribution of the color in the Asia and the British India in the 1920s. He called it the Treaty of the Color. It was the distribution of the color at that time, which is done by the Dr. Brahmachari. And it was published in 1920 and he presented in his lecture two years before of his synthesize of the of mind. And this is the room. I can say that this is a pilgrimage room. This is a pilgrimage room to all of us because the last year we have forgot that it was a hundred years of the discovery of the Indian Shiva Mind. We have at least presented, for my part, I have at least attended of 10 to 12 seminars of the, the different parts of the India about the insulin discovery. But not a single lecture I have found on the mention of his name. And this is the poster or the Brahmachari medicine which has become very famous at that time and he himself has synthesized and manufactured it and it was closed in 1962 after the much developed uh, in the field of university of mind and he was perhaps the person who has developed the drugs and also has <coughs> manufactured it, marketed it and delivered it to the different parts where they very much need at that time. So he was a doctor, he was an inventor, he was a merchant, he was a manufacturer, he was a all in one. But perhaps that is why he has been forgotten by the whole sector. So coming to the before conclusion, I will just highlight the fact the Raghavan Kupanana Brahmachari left a legacy that significantly impacted how Parajor was understood and treated in India. I am not going into details. I will just like to mention the quote from Dr. Roger, who has mentioned a drug which was the 70% high mortality at that time. Overnight, it claims to a cure rate of more than 90% after his discovery. And according to the British estimate, it was 50 million lives that had been saved during his tenure. So what a miraculous invention it was and what a miraculous omission from our past. So before going to the conclusion, I would like to make So this message is our Louis Carroll Shukumar Ray, the Ray before Satyajit. He was died in night at the age of 34 in the year 1923, one year after the discovery of the Uriya mind with the disease of Kalajor. Before his death, when the Kalajor or the Gangam fever was clouding his consciousness, he was delirious. In the delirious state of his mind, he has written the highest category of his poet. And that was, in Bengali, it was Abhuta. And when it was roughly translated, it looks like that. Today, before I leave, I shall speak my heart out. I believe even if it is absurd, even if you won't, don't understand the word, I will let my imagination flow on this day. There is no one who can stop me today. It's time for me to sleep now. My song is over. So time to end the show. It was the 12 to 14 hours before last writing or last conclusion of Shukumar Ray. And he died a disease, the drug of which was invented by a doctor of the very same city one year before. And he was saving the thousands of the coolies from the Assam in the Sialdra railway station. But unfortunately we are, we lost this person at the age of 19, only 34 years. And it was, can we say, roughly the poetic injustice. Thank you. I leave you here for part of For Dr. Ghosh. Thank you, sir, for sharing your profound knowledge with us.